Hello gamers! What's up my gaming friends? Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today, T55A. Uh, our rhymes, I'm a poet, so I didn't even know it. Okay, let's let's stop with the terrible rhyme then, sorry. We're gonna be in T55A on Moravanka. We got a tier 8 9 mm on an encounter. And the thing is, an encounter where you always have to be careful of or paying attention is how much of your team actually decides to go to the forest. Now, if we look at it, there's a BZ and an SU. That's not nearly enough to go towards the forest. So we're going to be going towards 1-2 line instead. Um, this is going to be a very heat intensive tank because it's just the way it is. Like if you really want to perform in T55A, it's very heat intensive. Things to watch out for with T55A, ammo rank damage, fuel tank damage. It happens quite a lot on this. There's not much you can do about it. It's going to be repairing it. So for standard ammo, we have 221 pen, 1.1 gauge health speed. And then we have the heat with 330. If you see the difference between the AP and the heat, it is extremely, extremely large. Hell, there's almost no point to shoot AP except for when shooting through objects or you're shooting at lower tiers. That's why you have intuition to uh, to retrain it. And he's 25 getting spotted there behind a building. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure what he's doing, but yeah. We'll check from here if there's something else pushing up. If not, we want to actually clear one too because all of their top tiers have been spotted outside of the T49. So we want to put on the pressure here, especially because their entire team is in the, the forest. Um, we're gonna be running it down, kinda, but it's like running it down with info though, because we're only really missing a KV4 and a VK, and those are usually gonna play over here. We could deny one of their TDs to get into position. And it seems like our gamble. It's not really a gamble, it's like an educated guess, actually. I'd call it. It's working out, so we're gonna be going towards a 3 now. <clears throat> clearing that part of the map and hopefully hopefully we do meet an enemy at some point right but uh, for now just trying to take map control so we split the map 50 50 which would be a benefit for us we do have double cs gapping <coughs> sorry which may make this game rather rather quick to be honest and we can't really push past this point this is kind of like where you have to stop and be like okay i've reached my destination I can't really go further than this. There's a chart for tour pushing up. Um, we will get angles on towards the cap. He's still behind a building. Just checking if I can see him at some point. Now I can. That was a really bad shot, by the way. That was, it was an awful shot, the first one. Um, I was shot in the VK here in a second. Not sure really even where this one went. There's a shot on this guy behind a building. E75 will be our next target now. We do get a nice pen on him, and now you can just see them kind of scrambling to get back towards the cap, which is beautiful for us because we're just farming off of this. Right? We we have taken the complete other crossfire position, and we haven't even been spotted yet. So the enemy team, I mean, they may know we're here because we shot a few of them. They might be pinging us, but. In return, I'm gonna use the HG here and kill this building. I didn't really hit it properly, so I didn't get to destroy both buildings at the same time, but everything is spotted, which means I'm gonna take some ground here. I'm gonna take some ground, I'm gonna go towards the Try Fitter. I get crossfire angles on all those guys over there. Uh, I'm trying to find a crossfire angle on the Skoda. I'm just gonna auto aim it, it's gonna aim at the center, center hall on that part. It's more than fine. And a good pen on him. Snap it, get another good pen on him. Now the try for two here is my next target. Unless I have something else to shoot at. I want to kill the try for two. He might YOLO out. There's a good chance he YOLOs out because I'm shooting at him. No? He doesn't want to. I see the KV4, side turret. Give him a banger. Now he's pushing out, which is not that good for us. But he's gonna give us yeah one more okay and that's what i'm talking about fuel tank damage on this tank it's insane how many fuel tank damages it takes and that's like one of the things with this tank the other thing is the 320 alpha we've talked about it before and i find 320 alpha in this meta where heavies are really the boss really hard to play because your traits have to be so good to make them work like in general i find 320 alpha tanks that they're 9 and they're 10 some of the hardest tanks to play in the game properly because nowadays there's so much alpha there's so much burst there's so many tanks that uh yeah this was i didn't remember where it was there's so much alpha there's so many tanks that have massive burst 
that you just end up being in a scenario where if your trades are not for, for formidable or amazing, like look, I'm gonna take two now from the squad, and he's gonna take a thousand HP. Uh, he's gonna take 917 HP, and to take even that out, I need to hit him three times. I need to hit him three times when he take most of my HP, HP pull away, and that's the tier eight. So I do do four and a half. We do have a good game, but it just comes to show like. 320 alpha tanks are really, really hard to play. I don't tend to recommend them anymore. Because of that fact, like, I mean, I can make it work. But uh, I just feel like... It's also, like, really expensive to play low alpha tanks, man. Especially one like this that is just, like, has so much better heat ammo. It's like, you're, you, you you're playing Wargaming so much more for having a good game than, for example, when you play a tank. Like, even the BZ, man. Like, when I was playing the BZ, with it's 800 alpha, it's like, um, you don't fire that much, so you make like a lot of credits. I mean, of course, this is not a premium, but like, if you want to have a good game in this and you're using mainly heat, it's always going to be a pretty expensive game for you to play. And that's like you know, another reason why T20 alpha guns are like, mm, mm, a, little bit, a little bit out of fashion for me. I mean, they can still have really good games, of course, if you get to use the DPM that you have, but... Like I said, I just think like in general, trades with 320 alpha are really hard because hardening exists. Uh, enemies with so much more alpha, enemies with so much more burst than you. Like if you're not trading well, you're not gonna be doing anything, and that's why I just kind of like stepped away from them at all, even playing them, because it's really hard to have like a really good game in them compared to higher alpha guns. And it's really easy to have a really bad game in them. So it's like hard to find a consistent line where you're gonna be gonna be doing a lot. Um, I don't care, Mila. I'm sorry. So for equipment, I use Turbo Stamps Rammer and HP Stamps Rammer. Some people like to use improved aiming on this. I'm not gonna say it's a bad choice, but for my playstyle, uh, HP Turbo is usually just better. And for field mode, kind of the same as every medium. It is the module durability. Then it is the aiming circle size. I take the reverse speed, and on this one, I haven't taken any. You could take the extra view range to barely max out. You do lose a bit of top speed for it. I'm okay with not having fuel view range. It's not ideal. It's one of the things that I don't like about the T55A is that it cannot really max out on, on view range effect, uh, effectively, from what I remember. I would need to check the crew layout, but I don't think it can. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But yeah, so now we get... Um, now we get uh, what's this thing called Manaheim line from the west. Tier eight nine again, really good MM. No early, too light. Um, top tier heavies. We have a Type and a fifty one twenty. They have a two five seven and a T fifty forty one. So their heavies are much faster in the south. We do get a nice two, a nice three A and a BZ. Uh, normally they should be able to win the south, but I just don't like going north at all on this map. I feel like it's always such a I don't know, shit fest in the north. That I might just swing towards the south either way. Hope that the tortoise comes with me. If the tortoise is a gamer, we're gonna be being chilling there. The BZ seems to be a gamer, at least he knows how to use his rockets. So, what do we have here going? Ice 2, tortoise, iron already know, ice 3A, BZ, type 4. Now, when you're driving towards the south, I think to remember, even in a T55A, is that you go wide at some point. Because if you just cross straight, you can get shot by the TDs. It doesn't matter if you're in a light, a medium, or a heavy. Okay, I think lights can get passed for free. But <coughs> mediums and heavy cannot. Um, if there's somebody aiming, they're going to absolutely demolish you. And I spot we spot four of them. We spot four of them, and I'm like not sure if I'm going to commit anymore. I mean, I know that our BZ did, and like I don't want to let him die for free either. Um, but I know we have an IS-3A and the guy behind, uh, the IS-2. I mean, maybe if the tortoise comes, this could be great, but uh, I'm not too sure yet. The good thing here is that the T-54E1 didn't commit, which is a big help, actually. May have made a mistake, honestly. I want to play next to the rock, which I don't often do. And of course, an overpeak from the Rene. I just got a cheap and bad Swedish TD. That hasn't happened to me in a while. Of course, I'm gonna retaliate towards that immediately. I mean, he seems to be pretty content with just sitting there. 
I wonder if he literally achieved from the beginning or he intuition. When I see his play, I think he intuition. Now, when you see this, you have to run away. Even though it sucks, you don't really have a choice because, well, like I said, you just don't have a choice at this point. I'll take one shot from the T54E1. It should be okay now, though. And that's another one of the things that I said about the T55A is its beautiful Amorak, which is very weak for some reason. Fuel tank, Amorak. I didn't use my repair kit immediately because, of course, I have to be able to get out of the scenario. It's risky pushing up, and you can see the result of it. When we were down 5k already, 6k, you're kind of condemned to sniping in this regard now. Um, I think our 5120 also yoloed in the north and just died. Uh, no, no, he's still alive, sorry. But our type 4 is just not having a good time, right? I mean, it's a type 5. He's never going to have a good time. If you want to have a good game here, you gotta you got to put the big snipes in. Hope that you hit some shots. Because outside of that, it's not looking like it's going to be too much. And a bit of the downside here of playing this map uh, as a... Mm, playing this map as a, as a medium is uh, when this happens and I'm just trying to figure out what I could still do that makes sense has any use at all and I can't really think of much right now I'm thinking maybe they push the north but they could definitely push the south if they wanted to and nothing's really gonna stop them from that I want to be in between the south and the north so I can relocate to whatever side needs me uh, but uh, being 7k HP down is uh, not looking good. The saving grace, however, is the fact that a lot of them are sniping. And then one of them at least is a 95 and a Forge. With a lot of HP. I mean, I'm sniping with a D55A. The heat is not very fast. 900. Um, gun really isn't meant to snipe either. If you've ever played with T55A, then you can confirm this. It's not really meant to snipe. It doesn't snipe well. Um, it's more of a close-range gun. I mean, the Lynx dies. Don't know how. That's a good thing for us. And it seems like they might struggle in the south. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure if they really will. I mean, it's possible they drown there. It's also possible that they just make it. And if they just make it, then of course it's not good. Hit this. Hmm. I mean, we still already have one case. It's like not, not definitely not a bad result. And yeah, do I need to say it about sniping with this gun? Uh, we do get one more there. Ooh, bad peek from the two five seven. Gonna gotta back off now because they could be taking this out. I mean, there's a way. There's a. There's an opportunity to recover this, in my opinion. I need to somehow cover my type 4. I mean, if the E1 shot, uh, the one E1 pushes up, I'll have him dead to right, so. You always want to stay out of their um, view range right now. I don't want to be too close and get spotted. I mean, here against the E1. I could. I could try and pick up the Swedish, uh, the Italian TD actually. Yeah, get a good kill on them. Trying to even the odds here. Trying to pick up a killer too that uh, may swing this game towards us. I mean, my Barask is still spotting. The E1's going back actually. Interesting. PTA pushing through the north with a 1390. Yeah, we'll be taking the position that the man pinged though. Indeed, not a bad position right now because they might be pushing the T30 from the north when the PTA is under. The H3 has taken the corner fully. It's not really a surprise. I mean, it's, yeah. it's correct to do so. We switch to my P shells. There's the Kunze Panzer. My 5120 dies. This might mean that the PTA pushes up. But <coughs> don't really have too many uh, support arenas left. I give one good shot to the PTA. Second one, because he's driving through the open. I mean, I'm trying my best to cover the T30 as much as I can. Hmm. 
This is the kind of game where we're just aiming to get 4k out of it, if possible. I'm trying to use the bush to my advantage here. Because uh, I got a hold on north of here. I mean, I spot the iron I can pen down. That's a bit of lack of view range there. I didn't spot him early. I'm gonna be switching back to my heat here. I get spotted and actually hit as well. And it was a 3090 spotting me. Good shot on the iron irony there. Thing is, they can peek this without being spotted. Dang shot. I mean, if those kids would die on the crossing, there could be something in this. It just doesn't look very likely whatsoever. I'm trying to see. Can't really pick up too much either because of the Skoda. Not getting them the blind that I'm looking for, which is which was on the 3090. Yeah, good playing against the squad there. Could do a bit of respot on him. Just a quick check. Ah, uh, couldn't depend there. I gave him one. Quickly checking to buy my Baratheon in a dime. And I tried my best, honest to God. Like, I don't really think there was much more for me in this. So it's not really winnable from the way it's looking. If I hit that, I would have called myself a god, but I didn't. That was bad aim. Even the pen marker said I couldn't pen it. I mean, I'm sure there's a universe in which me and this, me and the, uh, the Trifer 2 win this. I'm not sure which universe it is yet, though. Come on, peak. I'm gonna need the Trifer 2 to pick up the guys in the south. Good shot. Up that kill there. PTA is picking. One second. They come up too. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a world. There's definitely a world in which we win this. Just I just don't know which world actually. Like honest to God. I'm like, ah, no longer. Hold on. Somebody found an angle. If I could go back in the bush right now. Hmm. I went back into the bush here because I spot everything then. And they can't necessarily spot me, but it's still like pretty impossible. I don't think he spotted me. I know he did not spot me. I don't want to sit there though, which is bad. Oh, he spotted me after all. Another really good kill. Another really good kill. 
Venus is safe from the Iwan. Need like four more seconds to be this water. From this water, let's go back into the bush. Another really good kill. I need to try to do something with it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell the the try where the oh how to play this another massive kill I need to fly in the man this is risky what I'm doing because you don't know where the Borsuk is Ten ninety five with hardening. There's my H shell here. I'm gonna use the next one here as well. Hopefully to track my one shot. Let me do that. Good. Now the AP shells. I need to tell him to go for the Borsig. I'm trying to tell him to go for the Borsig. I made a mistake with this. Kind of a mistake, actually. Kind of a mistake. We're actually gonna win this, dude. We're actually going to win this. That's incredible. It's actually incredible, dude. The recovery day. God. I actually put it pretty well, man. Let's go, dudes. What, what a clutch. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be. be I'm not even gonna play a third game on this one, dude. <coughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, God damn, what a game! God damn, what a game, dude! I don't know how, uh, how I, I, I don't know, I don't know how I did it, but Jesus Christ, dumpstered the enemy team real quick. Um, some people would call themselves the goat after this. I will not. It was just a solid game, man. I think that showed everything there is to show. Uh, well, the 55A gameplay kind of. I'll make another video at some point, but I feel like these two games were just like so bueno. Especially this last one, that it's it's just fine the way it is, man. What a game. Uh, over the two games we just played, we got 6.6 .6 average, which is, of course, incredible. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. It's two really good games. I think it kind of highlights the dynamic of T55A. Amorak fuel tanks are weak. 320 Alpha is also kind of weak. The army doesn't really uphold anymore. But at least it has DPM and good heat pen. T55 gameplay, by the way. Really, I am a hard thing to play. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of today. I shall see you guys all in uh, the very next one. Thank you for chilling, as always. I hope we give you some tips, tricks, and insights on what to do and what not to do. See you guys in the next one. Peace, please. Ciao, ciao.